Welcome to the Bobcat News. I'm Anna, and our show today will cover a visit from one of Idaho candidates for governor. And I'm Tanner, and we will also take a look at the student body elections. Join us now for the Bobcat News. This week we had the opportunity to visit Dr. Tommy Alquist visit us our, at our school and talk about the electoral campaign. On Wednesday, March 21st, gubernatorial candidate Dr. Tommy Alquist visited Madison High School for one of the many stops of his campaign tour. He covered topics such as gun control, health care, school systems, and welfare. I do not think that passing another gun law is going to make us safe. What I think is going to make us safe is actually going into our schools, hardening our schools. When I came in today, it was really good. Guess what, we couldn't just walk into your school today. You're doing a great job, right? We got shuffled right into the office, and, and who was standing right there when we came in today? You had an officer that was standing right there. One of the most memorable moments of his visit was when he asked junior Michael Pulsifer to enter the stage for a little debate. We don't need victims in this country. We need Americans that know how to work and, and, and make it on their own without the socialism thing that's, that's just attacking us everywhere. The fact that we're here and you're saying that just makes me want to laugh. Think about, think about every government program. Think about welfare. What has welfare done to people, poor people in this country? Do you believe that like a person would rather sit home and do nothing to receive a paycheck every week than do their dream job that they can't access? A lot of them, yes, I do. Let me tell you two stories, because I know you're young and idealistic and you like burning, but let me tell you a couple of stories. So my, my nephew worked for me, okay? He was a great kid, great kid. His name was Trevor. He, he got married and he had a little baby who was one years old, one year old. He married a girl that was a great girl, and she's a nice girl. My nephew uh, was working on his car, knocked out his jack, his car fell on him and he died three years ago. It's a horrible story, horrible, horrible story. I actually rushed in and tried to save him as an ER doc. It's a horrible, horrible story. This woman that he married comes from a generational welfare family, several generations of welfare. I have now for three years been trying to help her get off welfare. She has a child. She's single now. It is almost impossible for her under the current system to get off welfare. So once again, we just want to thank Tommy for coming in and talking to us and giving us a little glimpse into what we're actually voting for, especially for those 18-year-olds that just barely turned 18. Make sure you get out and be part of your community. So thank you again. Thank you very much. You're awesome. Thanks for and having me. That's it. If you want more information about the election, you can visit the website or Idaho's electoral information page. Be a part of your community and vote. This week, Masson High School voted to elect the 2018-2019 Student Council. I'm running for president. No, I thought it would just be fun and uh, help out the students, make STEM assemblies more lit. Uh, got a few ideas for the basketball games during for the student section. Got some pretty fierce competition. On Wednesday, March 28th, Madison High School students voted for the 2018-2019 Year Student Council. We asked a couple of voters what their thoughts were on the election. As the president. And I don't know the rest. I just randomly went through. I did, yes. I voted in the election. He supports my ideals. And I just, I wanted to reflect that in school. You know, I thought, what, a, what better way to leave my legacy than to vote for who I want in the school, to keep the school how I like it, you know? So I said, hey, I'll vote. The election's result will be revealed at the Special Assembly at the end of fifth period today. After the break, we'll bring you the sports scores from this week. We just, just finished dinner, dinner and it was time for homework. homework. He I hates hate homework. homework. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying as try hard as harder. I can. One in five children struggle with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Welcome to the sports page of the Bobcat News. The baseball team beat Rigby on Friday, 5-4. The softball team beat Blackfoot, 16-5 on Tuesday. That is a big win for the girls as they head to the WTP tournament this weekend. Golf beat Hillcrest on Tuesday night. Track will be in Blackfoot today in a seven-team high country conference meet. Finally, tennis hosts Rigby today at the junior high. 
School picks up again after the break on Tuesday. That's the same week as parent-teacher conference. Parents can come visit their teachers on Wednesday and Thursday after school. Uh, out at the farm, the FFA competes in state next week in Twin Falls. Spring break is on the way, so we, ta we talked to Maddie Brower and asked her what she was doing for her four-day weekend. So what are your plans for spring break? Um, I'm going to go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming for the day, and then I'm going to go snowmobiling with my family. Um, I think that it should be longer, and I understand that we have potato harvest, but it, like it's not really fair for the kids who have to work spuds, so I think it should be longer. I wish I was going to Jackson. I have to work all weekend long. Uh, join us next week on the Bobcat News.